First Alert Weather with Megan Smith is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Well, still a little, sh some light rain showers, I should say, are still a possibility as we head into your Friday afternoon. Temperatures will start to warm up, though. We are currently sitting in that low 50 range, even with this northerly breeze coming into play. We're slowly going to start to see that sunshine, but looking nice and dry on First Alert Doppler Network after yesterday's storms and showers. So let's roll right into future cast to see what's in store as we end this work week and definitely as we look look into that nice weekend. Here's that northerly breeze we were just talking about coming into play, kind of cooling us down after that system moved through with this cold front. A few pop up showers could linger within the next couple of hours, but also we're going to still see this cloud coverage kind of stick around as well as we head into tonight. It will slowly start to break up, seeing those winds come down as well. And as we look into that weekend, we're starting to look a little bit drier and a little nicer for the next couple of days, especially on this trend of things starting to warm up just a little bit for tomorrow morning. We can see some sunshine still clouds lingering just a tad, but what's really going to come into play is this the westerly winds for our northern counties for tomorrow afternoon. Still, things are going to stay pretty quiet, pretty calm for the weekend, not seeing a whole lot of activity, starting to see a little cloud coverage redeveloping into tomorrow night. Before today, we're going to see those temps make their way into the low 60s with this sunshine 60 in Paducah, 61 here in Mount Vernon and 61 in Poplar Bluff. But for most of the US, we are all going to see those temperatures dip just a little bit back down below that average temp. We're going to see today, like we said, slow 60s, but within the next 8 to 14 days, we can see most of us are going to start to cool down just a little bit after these warm temperatures. Taking a closer look, we can see the upper 60s as we look into Saturday, seeing a lot of sunshine for that weekend. But look at this, temperatures falling into the low 60s by Sunday. Even into Monday, you can see highs only in the low 50s. Even our lows are going to be right there at that below freezing. So as you head out the door, Starting Monday morning, you might be running into some frost, some definitely colder conditions, so you might want to have a jacket. But temperatures will warm back up as we head into the middle of that work week, seeing a lot of sunshine for the next couple of days, upper 60s by Wednesday. But taking a peek into the end of that week, you can see we'll see a little active weather starting to peak and scattered showers by Thursday, even a little more heavier activity by Friday seeing a 60% chance of showers, but those temperatures will stay pretty moderate in the low to mid 60s for most places, staying right there above that average high currently sitting at 58.